brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. There are two styles of brakes common on most vehicles, disc brakes and drum brakes, which we have shown here. Drum brakes are being replaced more and more frequently with discs, but it's still not uncommon to find them in the rear of vehicles. Drum brakes are a much simpler system than it looks. You have two shoes with the friction material, a hydraulic wheel cylinder, retaining springs, pins, an e-brake spreader, and a backing plate holding everything together. The retaining pins and clips secure the shoes to the backing plate. The retaining springs keep them centered and returning to their proper position when not in use. When you push down on your brake pedal, hydraulic pressure is created and spreads the pistons of the wheel cylinder, forcing the shoe out and into the inside of the drum, creating friction and slowing the rotation of the wheels. As the friction material on the outside of the shoes wears down with use, the travel between the shoe and the drum increases, meaning it takes longer between you hitting the pedal and your brakes engaging. To combat this, we have what's called an adjuster. The adjuster, as friction material wears out, spins and spreads the pads so they sit closer to the drum to compensate for the lack of friction material. This spreader arm is connected to your parking brake lever or pedal by this cable. When you engage the parking brake, this cable is pulled in pulling the spreader arm, which has a pivot point above our adjuster bar, pushes the front shoe out and into the drum, allowing the rear wheels to remain stationary. As you can see, we've replaced all of our brake parts here. We have some new retainer springs, a new set of shoes, tend to reuse the adjusters and the adjuster hardware. Have a lot of thick, full friction material there going to give us some great stopping power, nice longevity out of these parts. As with any friction surface or wear item, you can see the inside edges of our old drum have been worn down, have a little bit of heat mark. You can see the steels turned kind of a bluish purple color. There's some pitting from the age. New part, it's a nice, clean, smooth surface. Going to make a really good contact between that shoe and the drum, give you all the stopping power you want to have on the road. See, so you have your wheel turning, you apply the brakes, friction stops it from moving. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also, check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.